Hello, this is Adam Watson, and I am here today to talk about being inside of Edgenuity and changing the language, and therefore the language materials and so on, for your Edgenuity course. First thing to point out is that uh, this language um, situation is something that the student has control over. So uh, it's up to the student to make the changes and go back and forth between languages. Um, this feature is enabled by default for all students so they have this control and access and ability. So that said, in Edgenuity, you can see right here, um, I am logged in as myself, but I'm logged in under the student view. So this is exactly what a student would see and experience in Edgenuity. You can see any courses that they would have assigned. In this case, I have this common core class that I've assigned myself, and that is what I'm going to choose to go to the next activity. So you can see how to change the language. So by clicking here, It is going to go into a, a video for Gilgamesh, the gentleman's talking, doing the transcription. And here is where the power of this really, really happens. The deal is, is that I can change the language on the fly by clicking here at the top right to several languages, but I'm going to choose Espanol. By doing that, notice that parts of this automatically change. For example, the title here and this part here. But next, you want to be able to see the language that goes with the video. Here's the thing about Edgenuity. Unfortunately, there are no pop-up subtitles that will show in Spanish, nor is there a separate language track. So this gentleman that's uh, talking right here, you're not going to hear um, a Spanish version underneath or on top or instead of this person talking. However, what you want to do is you want to go under transcript and that will help your uh, ELL students as far as changing the language here. So you want to check or uh, click on this plus. Notice that because I'm still in Espanol, you can see parts of this okay, is in Spanish. The trick is, <clears throat> and this is a quirk in ingenuity, even though I'm sitting in Espanol, we want to change the language to English and toggle back to Spanish in order to change this here into the language we want. So yes, we're sitting in the right language, but it's not changed yet. So if I go English, notice all this changed back, and we go to Spanish again, now we see that this language, along with over here, that this language is in Spanish, and it's the transcription that we want to see. And here we go. We can see all the marks, okay, uh, the time uh, signature marks here, and the transcript in Spanish. That, along with the video playing over here on the left side, <clears throat> should help our ELL students. Um, notice again on the fly that going to English changes it back. So the biggest thing, which again is just a quirk in ingenuity, is that even if they have the language chose here, and when they go to their transcript or glossary, they do not see the language that it should be in, just toggle between two. Basically go back to English and then change it back to the language uh, that it should be so that you can see the change if it's not there uh, to begin with. That's it for today. Thank you very much.